everybody welcome back to the channel today we are at the 75 chrome shop truck show in wildwood florida we're walking around we're going to show you some really cool trucks we're going to try to get our truck parked and ready to go yep we're going to get it we got to get it cleaned up this video we got we got some uh we got some extra help get the truck dialed in and uh moving a bunch of stuff around the parking lot and then putting everything in the parking lot like you see behind us it's uh, quite the feat to do this yep and, uh, and then we're gonna walk around and show you some of the trucks. Yeah, and I've got mad respect for uh, the, the parking job that David put together out here. Cause every year he tries to do something a little bit different so that way that trucks don't look like they're parked in the exact same scenario they were the year before. Keeps it interesting. Yep, and me and Brian have had to deal with that a couple of times at our truck show. So the layout he's got here is just, it's, it's, it's incredible. And it takes and a lot of work and a lot of frustration. And stress, yeah, a lot of stressful. stress. But it is, it is packed with a ton of awesome trucks and we're going to start showing you those right now. Early morning over here at the 75 Chrome Shop. And there is, we left last night and I'm going to tell you, we got here this morning and there is a pile of new trucks here. I mean, just a bunch. So, uh, it rained last night because it's Florida and it always rains. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna get the water off this thing. I've hired uh, professional help here. Fred's I'm about gonna, to get clean, my bad. Yeah, get, get to work on that dude. So I got Fred over here, he's gonna start getting the water off the truck for me and I'm gonna go get some breakfast and, uh, while, he, while he does all the work. I'm just kidding. I wouldn't leave him by himself. We're gonna, uh, me and him are gonna get this thing all cleaned up, get all the water off of it. That way when the sun comes out, don't water spot everything up. And uh, walk around and show you guys some trucks. Got Bruce Wilson's jalopy over here. And, uh, so yeah, that's what we're doing. We got the truck all cleaned up. She's looking good. She's dry. Fred, you done a good job, bud. Yep. Probably about the only time I've ever heard that from me. <laughs> that is not true. I that is not true. Anyway, we got her all dried up, ready to go. Uh, what are we doing now, Fred? We're going to eat at the Waffle. The Waffle House, my favorite place. Mine too. So uh, she's dried up. We're gonna go get breakfast, and uh, we also, because we're nice folks. We dried off Bruce's truck for him too since he's not here yet. That guy doesn't get up early ever. But uh yeah. She's all shined up, ready to rock and roll. So here's the drill. It's been about uh been about an hour now, and they are moving all the trucks off the lot. So we're all moving our trucks across the road, and then David's gonna start laying everything out, parking all the trucks and all those things individually. So uh Dick's gonna jump in the truck here and uh, go get in line with everybody else. Well, it's been raining, but they got some trucks parked, Tommy. There's quite a few trucks in here. This place is absolutely stacked in here. Uh, I, I I don't know what the exact truck count is, but I've, I've heard rumors it was north of 200. It's, uh, I think there's more here than there was last year for sure. Definitely more here than there was last and, year. And David said they're still waiting on like 30. Yeah, which is absolutely insane to yeah. me. But they're stacked in here like sardines and they're pretty dang beautiful. There's a lot of really nice equipment here. Yep. Still yet a lot of equipment that we've not seen. Oh yeah. It's like kind of surprising because we've been to a lot of truck shows. And we, uh, we've already, we, we moved our truck. We got it parked over earlier this morning. It started raining like crazy over here and uh, kind of put a halt to some of the fun. But now it has quit raining again and uh, we figure walk around and show you some of this before the show gets crazy tomorrow because that's when all the people show up yeah so did they deliberately just put all the uh cab overs no this is all the same company no there's just two of them of the same company yeah i think you just put the cab overs together that's kind of cool put a few of them here yeah i told her i said you here i'm gonna here i've noticed that there's a lot more variety here than there has been in previous truck shows. Oh yeah, I mean like, you got the old 9,000 there. Yeah. With a duck on the hood. Got, got the mean duck on the hood. So 
So is it just me or does this Kenworth's grill stick out a little farther than usual? So, I, think, uh, I don't know anything about a Kenworth. Oh, there's no grill here. That's what it is. We're looking at his actual AC condenser. <laughs> I was like, I don't know enough about them. I can't tell you. I was like, man, that seems like it sinks in a lot. That's because there's no grill there. Good looking all blacked out truck, though. It is pretty cool. I wonder if it's, uh, if maybe there was like something wrong with his grill and he took it out on the way, or if that's like his intention. He just like runs it like this all the time. I don't know. I mean, they they done they done like the the rhino yeah, lining on it. Yeah. I like this color. Yeah, that's you know that's that's a lot like that. Uh, what is it? That air gas teal or something that we that we run. It's more like baby blue. Yeah. No way, uh, I'm thinking of the Baffin Blue truck. Baffin Blue, it's yeah, yeah, similar yeah. to that, just a Very little deeper similar. color, yeah. When yeah. I saw this W990 at the, uh, at the hotel this morning, I'm gonna have to say I really like the wheels on it. I know it's kinda, it's, it's, I know this is gonna be an unpopular opinion, but I think those, uh, I think those wheels really made this truck. The color match is cool. Yeah. The color match is really cool. You know, I've never got to look at a 990 very much. No, me neither. And that's a true flat top, so that'd be like your car hauler style flat top. Yeah. And everybody, like, he is clearly polishing everything up over here because uh, you can basically just kind of work in and out of the rain right now. Yeah. I like it. I like that color. I'm a, I like blue, so, like, both these kid are cool looking. better move Tommy he might run us over yeah. well, these guys were Norman these guys really really showed up this year they didn't have a bunch of trucks don't they they have a ton of trucks here and they must have had to like plan way ahead of time because this show sold out a long time ago they've got I want to say there was probably Norman trucks and they're a little bit of everything so I don't know if these uh if these are all company owned or if it's like owner operators seems like they all have uh pretty similar front bumpers on these last four though they're all nice trucks super nice I like the breast cancer awareness truck that's cool yeah that's pretty neat pink white fenders on it drills on it's pretty nice I like that yeah the words inside the um, ribbon a little closer to it. Yeah. The little details make it look super cool. Custom cut out grill with a ribbon in it. That's really nice. That is. That looks like the desert turquoise to me. Which I still really like that grill. It's the color match on it. It's a good looking truck. There's one whole row. How about the dump truck? I was about to say, look at the... Walk look, back to that, dude. Yeah, look at the body kit around the bottom of the bed. That's pretty slick. That was a good idea. That is a very red truck. It's a very red truck, but dang. Man, those draw panels around the bottom of the bed, though. Is that fiberglass or aluminum or... Uh, we gotta, we gotta, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with fiberglass, I would think. We're going to have to inspect this a little. It's metal. Nice. The whole thing's made out of metal. And it's all custom. That's a lot of work. Yeah. They bring it all the way around back here, Tommy. Put the lights and everything in it. It's pretty slick. Yeah, it looks like they just mounted it right into the bottom of that bed. Yeah. yeah. They, they just welded it on. That's pretty wow. slick. Dang, it made it, it made it look really good, though. It is, I like, I mean. It filled it in so nice. Covered up all of like what would be considered unsightly on a dump truck. Yep. Like all the areas that you're like, man, how am I gonna cover that up? Like, that's, and I like all red. So like, yeah, it'll, I'll always be a fan of a truck that's all red. Yeah. Someone's got a lot of time in that. Yeah. 
That's pretty neat. That is neat. Old day cab there. Go back down this side. We got a lot of trucks to cover at this show, Tommy. Yeah, we do. Might be one of those deals where we split it up. What is this? A couple of different videos. This is You're a, like, you, you know about some Freightliners. I do know about some Freightliners, yes. I've sold some Freightliner Classics and some Freightliner Coronados in my day. <laughs> that was way, way back, though. Big ride. That is. And we just showed you the Kenworth. This is a gorgeous truck too. Had all the motor up and everything in it. Oh, he's got his QR code on there. Where heck? Oh yeah, right there. Nice. That's a pretty good idea. That is a pretty neat idea. Now I'm gonna have to buy engine plates for Brian with our QR Social code. Social media QR code. How are you That's doing? Good. It is admired in the truck. It's beautiful. PDI manifold. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Nice setup. <laughs> nice chatting with you, bro. Appreciate it. <laughs> Gorgeous truck too. That is really nice. Sorry. Oh, you're good. I like it. Got a Taylor Transport truck here. So do you see what? Let's can we can we make one return stop at the Peterbilt here? Because I'd like to acknowledge what a really fantastic idea this box is here it's pretty nice yeah I mean, covers like, up all the lines and all the got, wires yeah, and all the air or the airlines too yeah you still got your fuse box right here but all the airlines and everything that run into there this big chrome box covers it up it's super nice just exposes the steering shaft here they took some time to chrome the steering shaft that looks really really super good this whole engine bay it's fantastic aftermarket uh, Right front axle. Yep. So, did they chrome that or is that aluminum? I think it's chrome. Yeah, it's chrome. It looks good. Is it chrome? Yeah, it's chrome. Okay, I got it right. It was chrome. <laughs> it's an awesome looking truck. It, it looks good. Thank you. Man. Got the orange peat. Another truck. Taylor Transport truck. Taylor Transport. Those guys aren't far from us. No, they're not. Right. You can hear it. There's thunder coming in. We're supposed to get some uh, gnarly storms tonight. But yeah. luckily, I think once the storms pass tonight, they're just calling for spotty weather throughout the weekend after that. So. That'll be it's, good. Yeah, no, it's it's just uh, there's there's probably going to be a little bit on again, off again, but no reason that you can't make the trip down here to 75 because it's always a good time anyway. It is. I don't, if it rains, it's still fun. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I mean we've had rain at our truck show before, and it's never stopped anybody from having some good times. So this truck came in earlier this morning, and I just like the two colors on it. I think they're uh, I think it's pretty sharp. Yeah, this is know, a, this guy's been working on this truck as a work on like he's. He's working on it as he's got time, kind of a deal. Yeah. And um, it's turning out really sharp. You know, I've always, I've always liked that idea, just having a darker color contrasting on top of the lighter one versus yep. like a lot of the stripe jobs and stuff we do. We take the time to like, you know, outline it with a different color. But I like the idea of just spraying two colors. It, it's a very clean, very cool look to it for sure. I know there's a bunch of people who'd be really happy on our watch this watch our videos if we would just put more of these headlights on the trucks. The, I, uh, I see the comments. There's a we've got a few people who are just like change the headlights all the time, but I don't know. I like the factory headlights, but I also like those too. You know, I like those. 
But I also like the 379 headlights. I like the 379 ones, yeah. yeah. I was raised in the 379 era, so like the 359 headlights are cool, don't get me wrong. And all you uh, traditionalists out there, don't hate me for this, but I like a 379 headlight. And uh, you know the 389 headlight ain't bad either. They all, they're all cool, any way you look at it, but. Truck's accessory show truck. This, this is a nice was, one. This uh, was on display at the American Truck Show. So last year we covered this truck and it's still color combo wise. This is still one of my favorite color combos. I mean, I, I think for 680s, Tommy, this is probably like one of my more favorite 680s. This is probably one of my most favorite aero trucks, period. Yeah. It's really sharp. I mean, they, they took the time. Like, it's, it's got the big hole wheels on it and everything like that. It's, I don't know, I guess it's all the, all the little things for me. It's, I mean. The guy keeps it super clean. Oh, yeah. I, I know they work the far out of this truck, and every time you see it, it looks spotless. Yep. It's a nice unit. CD, CDT Lake City, Florida. That is Clint Dix Trucking. Is that it? Yep. How do you know that? Because uh, that's what it says on the first truck. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Fair enough. I'm like, you know this guy or something? Like, I love this gray and yellow. Yeah, it looks and awesome. Gray and yellow looks good. Yeah, the uh, color combo is nice. There's some familiar faces over here. Oh, yeah. yeah we, got, we got Ryan and then we got Bruce. Oh, what Bruce is doing? Yeah. Turbo's is big. Hey, hey man, Bruce. Aren't you that guy? You want some uh, ice cream? Yeah, I'm going to need a comment from you. I like that bumper. Yeah. All right, it's pretty I, slick. I don't know if we'll get the roof. Oh, yeah. That is cool. Those are the guys that are setting up over there next to your truck are the ones who make it. Okay. Those were needed to go on. Uh, Timmy Cameron's truck. Timmy Cameron's truck. I love the color combo. The gray and yellow is cool. Pretty sweet. That's good. We all have clients with these trucks. Yeah, man. We're just walking around, looking at cool trucks, watching you guys. Get into all of my beer. Yeah. Just glad we're getting it on video. So, there's a family y'all need to meet. They're from New Zealand. Really? They came here to do some vacationing, but their main focus was the truck show. Nice. From they let, they came from New Zealand just to come to the show and have like a vacation. More or less. That's pretty cool. And they're trucking YouTubers too, so they got all kinds of cool videos and stuff. Really? Yeah. yeah. yeah I definitely want to meet them. Look at the logo on this black one here. That's old school. Yeah. Way old school. Black and blue looks awesome. Is that always? Color, name it. Like black and pink looks good. Like all black with light colors looks really good. So Amber wanted me to ask if we could order a Barbie pink semi truck. We can no. do whatever you want to pay for, Bruce. Yes, that was his answer. His <laughs> answer is correct. What did you say? I said we can do whatever you want to pay for, Bruce. I like that. Whatever not, whatever you want to do, whatever you want to pay for. <laughs> all right guys that is it for this video uh we got our truck parked mm -hmm. where we need to be now yep we got it dried off for like the third time today yeah. and uh and then we were able to show you guys some of the trucks in the parking lot yeah there's a lot of really good talent here a lot of really awesome equipment a lot of really cool trucks uh there are more videos to come from the 75 chrome shop show so make sure you guys follow along you got to do the things though you gotta like, subscribe, follow us on Instagram. Yeah, on the um, on Instagram. The Instagram at Semi Casual Show. That's it. At Semi Casual Show on Instagram. That's the one. Yep. And then you know all the other social medias too. Obviously, you're probably watching this on YouTube right now, but we have all the social medias. But if you're watching and you're not subscribed, we could really use your your uh, support ass support assistance in getting us to 100,000 subscribers by hitting the little subscribe button. Exactly. That'd be We're cool this close and we really want to show you guys that little plaque that we get whenever we hit 100,000 subscribers and we're this close we're so close we are so anyway outside of that uh we're about to get ran over by a huge big old truck awesome. look at that thing oh, look at that. dang so uh 
don't yeah. do that every day. No. <laughs> but more videos coming. We're going to try to get every single truck at the show here and uh, just show them to you in a series. So follow along. See ya.